It's Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is the second AutoCAD tutorial web-based version. Um, a couple of things I want to go over on this particular screen. I'm assuming you're starting here. Uh, you notice it says DWG. This is the nice thing about the AutoCAD web version. It's not some proprietary extension. It's .dwg, so it means you can actually click on the file and download it to your computer, and you can actually open it with standard AutoCAD, which is kind of nice. Um, there's some other things you can delete here. You can duplicate it. Say you want to make, say you want to make some changes to this. This, uh, you can make a duplicate file, and that way your original one is preserved. You can rename them and so on, and click open, and of course it'll just open the document. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is when you are here, previous, you're working on this one now, the previous uh, tutorial was based on basically navigation, zooming in and out, uh, what the different tools were and so on. With this one, we're going to start our orthographic drawing. So click on this, it opens it up. Here comes my, we, this is where we left off the last time. So I'm going to alt tab back and forth between these two. And if you look here, I'm going to draw this box in here and this box in here. So a few different strategies. I'm going to stay on the object layer. So you click it to make sure, make it current. If I was left that and started drawing, it would of course make blue lines and on a different layer. So I'm going to click the object. So I know I'm drawing on that object line. There's a couple of different strategies here to do this. So this is 25 and this is 20 by 20. So that means 25 subtract 20 is of course five divided by two is two and a half per side. So this is two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. A few different ways you can do it. You can draw crosshairs in here from the center to the center and then draw a line parallel out and parallel out. Uh, you could, you could uh, do what I'm gonna do right now. Click the line here. And as long as, I'm gonna zoom in, as long as I don't click it, as long as I don't click that, and let me back up for a second. If that little box doesn't come up, it means your O-snap is shut off. So if you're not anchoring, turn your O-snap off on. Again, there's all different ways to do that, but we'll leave it the way it is right now. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to hover. And it grabs the end point, but it doesn't actually start drawing a line. I'm going to walk over this way. I'm going to stay on that line, and I'm going to type in 2.5, enter. And it locks the line in at 2.5 here. Now, if you scroll down this way here, we know that this is 25 long, right? And we also know it's at 90 degrees. So I can type in 25 tab, 90, enter. And I have, it hit escape, and I have my first line drawn here. Now, you can see it's kind of sticking out a little bit. I guess this one must not have been exactly 25 because that shouldn't be like that. Let me just double check something. Uh, annotate, measure... I measure this guy here, you see 25? It is. Okay, well, nevertheless, I can fix that. You don't want it overhanging like that. I'm not sure why I did that. It could just be the graphics. Um, modify, trim, and I'm going to zoom right on in, and I'm going to trim that off right there. Okay. Maybe when I typed it, I might have, I didn't see what I did. Maybe I typed it wrong. Um, back to the draw tab. Nevertheless, um, now I'm going to try a different. So that, that was the strategy there. I'm, you notice I'm still in the trim command, so I'm going to escape until, the, until that's gone. Go back to modify, and we're going to offset. I'm going to draw this box by offsetting. I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to offset by 2.5. You notice it went on that side. So 2.5, enter. Click on this guy up here. Bring it down this side, 2.5, enter. This guy here, walk up this way, 2.5, enter. And now I have it done. So now I have to do the trim command. So you can trim here. Click trim, and you go in and trim off all the stuff you don't want. I don't want that. I don't want that. Him, this, don't want that, don't want that, uh, this one here, and this one here. Now, I inadvertently put a line when I did this one. It inadvertently put a line all the way across there. We don't need that line, so you can just hit the escape tool and click it and just hit delete. I think trim would have worked as well. Uh, go back to my trim. I want to get rid of him right there, and I think that's good. This line should go all the way across. Those lines are all right. All right, so now I'm going to go back into the draw mode, hit escape, so we're out of the trim command. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw this channel here. So I'm going to use the same strategy. I find it's faster. Offset. If you look at the drawing, you can see it's 10 millimeters and then 25, and it's 5 up. So we can use the offset command all the way. We can offset and click here, and we're going to go 10 millimeters, enter. And then from there to here, it's 25, enter. And then this little guy from here, 
up to here is five. So back in, we're going to grab our trim again, and we're going to trim off. Whoop. Escape, trim it. With the trim tool again. We're going to trim off this guy and this guy, and I don't want him or him or him. And now, I also don't want this line going across here, right? Because this is a channel. There would be no material down there. So we're going to trim him off. So there you have it. That's the... I've drawn the new features, we'll call that. Now we're going to do the hidden lines. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call it hidden lines. Lines, hidden lines. Now I'm going to change that to, let's use purple. I like differentiating different colors. So now I'm going to zoom in. And this channel goes all the way through. You can tell it goes all the way through because you can look right here and you can't see any of their lines. So it goes right the way through. So we go to the draw screen, click this line tool again, bunch of strategies. You know it's five millimeters up, so you could go this one here. You could just go click this and go five millimeters up. Now you notice we're not current. I made a hidden line layer, but I didn't click it, so I wasn't current. There we are current now. You'll see that easier on AutoCAD. It'll say it'll say current, and nevertheless. So I could draw a line from here all the way across and then trim off some sections. I could draw a line from here parallel up, or I could draw a completely separate line. I could go like this, click here. I could walk up this direction here, zooming in without clicking. I'm going to go up five millimeters, enter, right? Now, that didn't work. I, I must have clicked it. Click. I always do that. Hover over it. Walk up that direction. If you click, it'll draw a line. I don't want to draw a line. Five millimeters, enter. Walk across this way here. And you want it to be uh, 55, I think. Tab, zero, enter. So it's done there. So when you zoom in, you can see it's a hidden line. No, it isn't a hidden line. My apologies. Back up. We need to do layers, properties, hidden line. I needed to click on the properties. I want to change it to, it says hidden lines, but it's actually not. It's it's not a line type. I want to find hidden lines. There's a couple of different ones. The hidden one's kind of small. I'll show you. So now let's do this again. Go back to your layers. Make sure that's active. And now when I'm drawing, it should be the hidden line look. So I got that through properties. You can change it later on too. It doesn't make any difference. But So line tool here. Walk up. Five millimeters. Enter. Walk across this way, and it's going to be 55 tab, zero, enter. And now, escape, you can zoom in, and you can see it. It's a hidden line. Now, there are different ones in here that show, because when you zoom out, all you see is a pink line. You can't see the dashes. So there's different ones you can play with it in, in here. You can try some different ones. Maybe the dash dot, I can't remember. There was one that just looked a little nicer when you, I forget which one it was. I won't bother with that right now because it's not important, but... You can certainly do that. So now we'd have hidden lines. This is a channel that goes all the way through, all the way down through here. So we have some hidden lines there too. Um, let's use the modify strategy. We're on hidden lines still. It's going to draw a hidden line. Um, one of the things I want to show you, let's, let's just for fun say that we went like this and we went over here and clicked this little line, moved him over, and we said it's 2.5 millimeters enter. And this one down here, and it was 2.5 enter because that line would go all the way through. And then back over this side here, I click this guy here and I went 2.5 enter. And then I thought, oh, I, I, nope. And this one here, it's got to go down. So let's, let's extend that. You see here, I'm going to use the trim extend here, extend. So I'm going to extend that line down. Now I realize I drew a bunch of stuff and I went, oh no, I drew it all in the wrong layer. Right? All you have to do. To fix that is just go to your layers properties. Oh, click this line here. Click this line and then go. Oh, I think you can hold your control key down. Let me try. No, you can't. But it doesn't matter. Click this line here and where is my current properties and switch it to hidden lines. And bang, it's a hidden line feature now. So it doesn't make any difference if you do that. You just go back over here. Same thing. Click this line here, and we're in properties, and we're under layer, and we want to make the layer hidden lines. And here, we want to make this layer, switch it to layer from the object to hidden lines, and then we'll have that. Okay, so that's how you do that.
So those, li those lines are all the way through. You notice that it doesn't go down here because there's no material for it there. Okay. So the next video, or maybe I'll do it with this video as well. You know what? Might as well just do it in this video. Uh, we're going to do annotate. We're going to do some dimensions. Okay. So we're going to come back into the layers command here, or layers box. We're going to click on create a new layer. I'm going to call it dimensions. And I'm going to leave it white. I can also make it current. So I'm now dimensioning. Now, when you do the dimensioning, you come into properties. And when you're on the dimension layer, it's white. Uh, the line type is, I'll just leave that as by layer. Uh, this didn't do, this is the thickness of the, of the line, I believe. This one right here, it will be arc 125. So it'll be massive architecture, 125, I guess, millimeters. So instead, what you do is come down here and mechanical 2.5. So it'll get a nice little 2.25 millimeter height of, uh, of the text. This one here, um, I left it as I've done both here and here. I didn't see a profound difference. And the leader is the same. I left it at M5, ML5. Now I'll show you. I'm going to dimension it. So we're going to go and dimension a few things. So we're going to, oh, let's go and dimension this guy right here. Come on. Try that again. Mention here, click, and here, click, and I bring it over. Here's the thing I don't like. It just shows 50. And I've played with this down here. You can try it yourself. You should be able on units. Oh, I missed something. Sorry. I want to show you this too. You need to go before you do your dimensioning. Go down into here. Settings. Units. Change it to decimal. It's probably architectural. And then change it to two decimal places. And I leave this the way it was. And then we're done. So decimal, two decimal places. Now, in theory now, when I click here to here, this should have two decimal places. So it should say 50.00. And I've explained to you in class, the more decimal places, the more, usually the higher the tolerance. So 50.00 is, is one tolerance. And 50.000 is a tighter tolerance. So in this particular situation, Let's just pretend the outside's not that important. But nevertheless, I don't want it just 50. So the only thing I, I found you could do, because I've tried several times and it didn't work, maybe there's another way I'm just not seeing it. See so where it says text override? I'm just going to go 50 decimal zero zero, And now, hit escape, and now I've got a double decimal place. Tighter tolerances. Um, I would say the channel for here should be a three decimal place. It's probably got some something going through there. So we can click on this thing. Now, Use the same conventions. You don't want to dimension to a hidden line. So I would dimension this here. I would dimension like this and this and come up here. 20. I would go into the 20 now. I would click on it, go into it, and I would change it to 20.000 because I would say that is tighter tolerance. Okay. So, and you can play with the nice thing too. You can move these away. I was in class we discussed. I like to have the a little bit further away to keep your drawing clear. Something, you know, something along this line so when it's far out you can see. So that's how you dimension. Um, dimension the channels, dimension this whole thing. Once you've drawn this, dimension the whole thing up. So look at it and say, you know, you don't want Bob coming into your office saying, hey, you missed a drawing and has to talk about his kids for a half an hour, wastes your day and drinks your coffee. Um, so, so let's do that. Let's finish this up off this video. D finish the drawing as just like I did it and then take a look at it and draw in all of the different um, dimensions. You can play with the leader line if you want to uh, just for fun. Maybe you could go like this and say, okay, uh, this is, uh, uh, I don't know, new finish. New fin I don't know, I'm just making something up. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, check mark. There you go. So you can change things like that. I don't know, or maybe uh, aluminum. You know, you can make some notes just 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 have some fun, and you can move the note around too, which is good. So you can move it all over the place and make it quite nice. So I like using AutoCAD because when drawing, I'm kind of fussy, and you know, when you draw something, and you go to erase it. You've always got that line there, and it's nice with AutoCAD. You don't have to worry about that. Now you can make this smaller too. You click on here. And you can change you can change different things. You can make your notes different colors if you wanted to. Um, you might put a different layer for your notes. Um, you can change the, the different gaps and stuff. Um, what I was trying to show you here was 
its size. I guess the size is done through, uh, should be here, should be property, line type maybe, weight, transparency. It doesn't matter. Anyways, you can change the size of the font so it's smaller. It's in there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. Not important. Okay, so that's it. That's the second video. Yeah, this is the second video. The In the next video, uh, maybe we'll look at bringing in a title block or something along those lines.